What is going on Slay Bates? It's Ashley and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be talking all about the brand new Ola Chola collection that Becky G just launched with ColourPop. <laughs> Goodbye. I'm so excited about this collection. When I saw it on Instagram, I freaked out. And then literally the next day, it was on my doorstep. So here we are. I created this look using the entire collection. I also threw in some products from the brand new Glow collection by ColourPop. So you'll see those products within the video as well. But for the most part, I'm gonna be talking all about the Ola Chola collection. So make sure you guys click that subscribe button. It is free. And if it's free, it's for me. So if it's free, I know it's for you too. Also, while you're at it, click that bell so that way YouTube will notify you when I upload. I am changing my upload schedule in the new year, so you're definitely going to turn on those notifications. With that, let's get into the video. What's up? Welcome back. I have you guys super up close and personal because I am going to start off with the eyes. Now my brows are done, lids are primed. I did use a little bit of the P. Louise Base 2, which you guys know I love. I will have this listed down below. But let's talk about the eyeshadow palette. This here is the Ola Chola palette. The packaging is so cute. Look at that. I think they did a really good job with the overall design and packaging. When you open it up, you do have that paisley print and bandana print right inside, which I think think is a really nice added touch. The overall palette is paperboard packaging, so it's not plastic or anything like that. You also get a mirror right here. It says Becky G and ColourPop with a little cherry, so they kept the design all the way throughout the palette. This is what the eyeshadows look like. Now this is ColourPop's first ever all matte eyeshadow palette, which is super, super cute. For me personally, I do really love a good matte eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna start off with the shade called Cholita. This shade right here, I'm gonna take that in my crease as my transitional shade. And I'm just gonna use a fluffy A25 by ABH to do that. I'm just taking this color and going in big circular motions from outer to inner corner just so that way that shadow is nice and blown out. It is blending very, very, very nicely and I really, really love the tone of that shade. So the next shade I'm gonna take is a shade right here called Lil B. I'm gonna take it on an M507 and I'm just gonna start taking this in the outer V and just flicking it in my crease just to deepen it up a little bit. Now this look definitely isn't gonna be over the top. It definitely is gonna be more of a subtle, wearable, everyday look simply because I don't want to go too overboard with like the reds or the gray. I really just want to do something very pretty and every day. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush right here with that shade called Lil B, and I'm really just smoking it out and blowing it out. I'm really just focusing it right here in the outer part of the eye. And as you can see, I'm still going in that circular motion because I want it to be blown out. I want it to be diffused. I don't want it to really be all that harsh, which is why I did switch over to using this brush, which is a Morphe M514. So I definitely wanna add some warmth to this look. So I'm gonna take the shade called Loca, and I am going to to take it on that same M5 or is this an M514? And I'm just going to lightly place this in kind of like the center area and then just blend it back and forth. But I'm not taking it all the way in my inner corner. As you can see, it just added a little bit of warmth to this all matte look. Definitely one of my favorite things to do when creating an all matte look. So I'm really loving the way that things are coming out. What I wanna do is I wanna take a clean M514 and I really just wanna go to town and really just blend out these mattes right here in the very inner part of my eye, just so that way there aren't any stark, harsh lines. That's one thing that you'll run into whenever you're doing like an all matte look. Sometimes mattes don't blend as well as like shimmers and stuff. So you definitely have to take your time with it and really just go in and blend and soften out all of the edges, just so that way it looks very, very uniform and it kind of flows together with the rest of the eye, eye look. Whew, I was about to say I shook. I shook. Anyways, let's go in with this shade right here called Chula. I'm gonna take a little bit of Chula and a little bit of Ruka. 
on an M507 and I'm just going to feather this right here in the outer V and just kind of flick it inwards. And this is just going to smoke it out a little bit. I definitely don't want to add too much of this because I'm not really trying to create such a smoky, dramatic look. I want it to be very soft and subtle. Now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of Lil Smiley. It's just kind of like a yellow based like bone shade. And I'm just gonna kind of tap that right here on the lid. It's not really gonna do much, but it's just gonna mattify this area. And just brighten a little bit. And I'm gonna blend it in with the other shades just so that way it looks a little bit more, I don't know, put together. Final verdict on the eyeshadow palette. I will say it is beautiful. I feel like the mattes blended very, very nicely on my lid. I had no problems whatsoever with the shadows getting patchy or anything like that. I really love the tones of all of these mattes here. Some are neutral, some are warm, some are cool. Like a very, very good mix of all of your matte shades, if you ask me. So let's move on to eyeliner. They did launch an eyeliner in this collection. This one is in the shade Lola, and I wanna say it's just a black eyeliner a liquid eyeliner at that I can't say I'm the biggest fan of ColourPop liquid eyeliner simply because I never really gave them a fair chance so we're gonna test it out right here right now and we're gonna see what they're all about in Becky G's campaign photo she did have a thick trace of matte black eyeliner so that's definitely what I'm going for for this look Honestly, you guys, I really, really love this black eyeliner. I feel like it was very, very easy to create this wing. In fact, I don't think my wings have looked this good in a really, really, really long time. I do want to point out that they do have a slight sheen to them, which for me personally, I feel like since they came out with an all matte black eyeshadow palette, that the eyeliner should have just been a matte black. You know what I mean? So I'm going to take a little bit of the matte black eyeshadow from the palette. And what I like to do if my eyeliner isn't like super, super matte is I will take a black this is called a little smoky by the way and I'll just take it directly over top of the areas that have some shine to them and just mattify it and there you have it a super matte black eyeliner as opposed to this side that has like a little bit of shine before I go in with mascara I am going to pop on some falsies I'm going to use these I got these at CVS or maybe even Walgreens these are by Kiss these are the Lash Couture Luxe Extensions Collection these are in the style Royal Silk and I really like them because they have more of a curl towards the ends so I think this style is going to look insanely beautiful with this eye look so let's pop them open and put them on so that way we we can like fully transform a few inches later now that i have lashes on i definitely want to go in with just like a little bit more shadow in my outer v just to kind of smoke it out y'all know whenever i put on lashes i feel like that's when i can add a little bit more shadow if needed you can definitely just leave it like this but <laughs> i'm a little extra so i'm gonna go in with the shade chula that shade and i'm gonna take a little bit of ruka and I'm gonna mix the two together and just lightly feather it right here. All right, so these are the eyes. What do you think? Let me know. I am gonna clean up underneath my eyes, do a little bit of base makeup, concealer, powder, all that jazz, and then we'll come back. We'll talk about some highlighting products. We'll also talk about bronzers and lips, so. BRB. Eventually. I'm back. I have my face makeup on. I will have everything I use listed down below. It is a flawless face, a flawless base, and I am high key obsessed. I do want to jump into some of the other face products within this collection. And also from another collection, I have some glow products I'm super excited to dip into. But there are two bronzers within the Ola Chola collection. Super cute. The front has a cherry on it. And then when you flip it over, these are the shade names. We have 310 and LA. 
and this is what the actual packaging looks like. It is plastic, unlike the palette, which is paperboard. This is really, really cute. It has the bandana print on the front, and this is a bronzer in 310. And then I have another bronzer here in LA. I will say the bronzer shades aren't too far off from each other. This one is a little bit deeper than this one right here. I think I'm gonna go in with the lighter one because I don't like to go in with a super dark contour or bronzer shade all at once. I really like to build up to that. So I'm gonna take some of this and add some warmth into my skin. Wow, that is really, really pretty and that's blending out really, really nicely. I did wanna keep you super close just so that way you can see what it looks like on my skin and how it blends, like very, very pretty. By the way, I'm just using this brush right here. It is from the Wet n Wild and Pac-Man collection. I'm obsessed with this brush. I really, really love it. I think it's super cute. I'm also gonna take some of this on my forehead and jawline. And this is what it looks like zoomed out a little bit. Definitely added really, really nice warmth to the skin. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, which is called LA. It's slightly, slightly deeper. And I'm just going to use this to kind of just intensify it. Whoa. Damn, look at little like Mona Lisa right now. So in addition to Becky G's Ola Chola collection, ColourPop also came out with another collection. Y'all know ColourPop stays dropping like week after week after week. They didn't really give the Becky G collection time to really marinate before they launched their glow collection, but their glow collection consists of a pressed highlight, a liquid highlight, a flat kabuki brush, and a fluff kabuki brush. This here is the pressed highlighter. Let me just say ColourPop, Marc Jacobs, they're coming for your whole entire brand. This definitely reminds me of the Omega bronzer packaging. The mirror is huge, but I'm not even mad at it. I am gonna use the fluff brush, which looks just like this. I really, really love the handle on this. I love the barrel. I love the colors. I love everything about it. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that highlighter and I'm gonna pop it on my cheekbones. I really love that color. So this definitely is like a true gold highlighter. So if you do have fair skin tone, this may not work the best for you. This one is in the shade Champagne Bubbles, by the way. They could have other highlighters in their collection, but this is the only one that I got. This is really pretty though. For me, I really love the ColourPop brand as a whole. I feel like they always come out with really awesome products for an affordable price point. I'm all about affordability when it comes to beauty products because you don't really have to spend a lot to feel and look good. Like, look at this. That is stunning. I'm gonna put a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna adjust it on my Cupid's bow and my temples. Again, they also came out with a liquid highlighter, which I'm not gonna use because I already did my face makeup, but I do wanna swatch it just to show you what it looks like on the back of my hand. Wow. Wow. That is stunning. Now you can put this underneath your foundation, mix it in with your foundation, pop it directly underneath that pressed highlighter to really make it pop but that's beautiful. I would even mix this in with lotion, put it on my legs to give it like a really pretty luminosity. By the way, this is the Kabuki brush right here. I don't know why they came out with Kabuki brush with this collection. Maybe because they want you to mix in your illuminator with this brush, but I mean, eh, this one really, really awesome for highlight. So I definitely need to finish off my lower lash line, but before I do that, I'm gonna take this LA Girl blush right here called Just Rosy. This is one of their Just Blushing blushes, and I'm gonna pop some onto the apples of my cheeks. I would have loved to see like a bronzer and a blush in the Becky G collection, but it's all right. I feel like with the coconut collection, they came out with two bronzers and with the Becky G collection, they came out with two bronzers, but it would be nice to see a bronzer and a blush. I know they come out with two of each because they want to come out with a light shade and a deeper shade. So I understand that, but I would have loved to see some blush in the collection. I do wanna do my lower lash line. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And with the power of editing, 
we're done. Let's actually move on to lip products because she did launch a bunch of different lip products within this collection. We have three lip bundles and this baby right here. This here is a roller gloss. And if a roller gloss doesn't take you back to your childhood, I really don't know what will. Well, there's actually a lot of things that could take you back to your childhood, but this definitely does it for me. This here is in the shade Very Cherry and it smells like cherry. I'm probably going to take this over top of some of the lip bundles here in a minute. Now, the lip bundles I have here is called Muñeca. Then we have this one here called Bayesa. And lastly, Traviesa. I probably butchered that. Don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me, but let's actually put some of these on. I'm gonna start off with the lip bundle called Muñeca, and it comes with a lip liner and a liquid lipstick. Okay, lip bundle S, very Kylie Jenner-esque. Not even mad at it. I'm going to line my lips with the lip liner and then fill it in with the liquid lipstick. So this here is definitely a really pretty kind of like mauve color. And then I'm gonna put on the coordinating liquid lipstick. So this right here is the Muñeca Lip Duo. I actually really, really like the way it looks. Like, very, very pretty. It definitely leans a little bit more of like a purple mauve. Looking at it in the packaging, it doesn't look like it would be as purple, but it definitely leans a little bit more of like a purpley mauve on the lips, which is still really, really pretty. The next one I'm gonna try out is called Bayasa. And same thing, it comes with a lip liner and also a ultra matte lip. Wow, this lip liner is really, really pretty. Now I'm gonna go in with the liquid lipstick. So the shade right here is called Bayasa, you guys. So pretty. I feel like whenever Becky G comes out with bold lip colors, they're always really, really good. She did come out with one called Chola a few collaborations back, and that one definitely is my personal favorite. It's kind of like a reddish brown, and it is in Incredible, and this one is no exception. Like it is such a beautiful, deep mulberry lip color, like the perfect lip color for now, for fall, for spring, for summer, like gorgeous. Killed it. So let's finish things off with this shade right here called Traviesa. And this is more of like a deep, deep, deep purple shade. So super pretty. We're gonna start off with lip liner and then top it with the liquid lipstick. Oh wow, this lip color is dramatic, like very, very dramatic. So this right here is the last and final lip color or lip combo, I should say. And I do think it is really pretty. Is it a color I would reach for often? No, but definitely bold, dramatic, out there. It's just a little bit too like over the top for me, but if this is something you're into, it is very, very pretty, very opaque and not patchy whatsoever. All right, Slay Bay, so this right here is the final and completed look. If I had to rate it on a scale from one to 10, I would say, 10 out of 10. Like I love the way that everything looks. I love the matte eyes, the matte liner, the matte bronzers, the matte lips. I feel like Becky G killed this collection. And if I had to pick my favorite out of all the collections she's done with ColourPop, this one would definitely be my favorite. I love the matte shades. I love the tones, the pigmentation, the blendability. Everything was very well done. And I definitely feel like it is worth 
the money. So definitely check it out. I'll have everything listed down below in the description. And with that, I don't have much else to say except I love you. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.